I get why that woman did the fan fiction that became Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, it's great. Um, honestly, I picked up Twilight the other day. I don't know why I even owned it, because I never read it. And I guess Twilight just like at some point materializes in like everyone's home and are like, oh, I'm gonna read Twilight. I, I never, I don't know, maybe someone left it at my house or something. And I, I was, I get why that woman did the fan fiction that became Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, it's great. It's like, um, but because I like, am, I have to, I'm like pumping in the middle of the night for my kid. And so I'll wake up at four o'clock in the morning and I don't feel like turning the TV on. It's great to just pick good old Twilight and, and like see what Bella Bella's up to. I've been loving the Mo Willems books, the Pigeon. Um, the Pigeon ones have, have been great. And she also loves um, Maisie is, an, is another one that she, it's like a nighttime favorite. Those two are kind of her major favorites now. So many, so, so many. And, the, and they really are like, is a range of high and low. Like obviously I'm thrilled for my daughter to read like, you know, um, like To Kill a Mockingbird. But there's also like, I remember when I was a kid, there was like a murder mystery called The Westing Game, which was like, a, it's like a classic, classic whodunit. And to me, um, that it was like such a great book. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, I had to, such singular joy reading The Babysitter's Club as well. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of stuff that I'm excited for to read. And I just felt like there wasn't an, a real avenue or outlet for me to talk about the things that I'm interested in. It's hard to get, you know, a 17 year old kid that's supposed to be in high school to have like observations about what it's like to be a single mom or to try to date at 40 and those kinds of things. So I just needed to write, the, write these essays. Mm -hmm.